Hi guys, I'm Alex and welcome to my shave. Today is uh, Friday, uh, I think it's the 24th or 25th, I can't remember exactly. But anyway, uh, it's Friday and today is joke day. And we're going to start in with the joke right now. Here we go. A young, <laughs> a young girl comes home from her date looking rather sad and her mother asks her, what's wrong? She says, Bill just proposed to me an hour ago. Her mother asks, so why are you so sad? What's with the long face? The girl replies, because he also told me that he's an atheist. <laughs> Mom, he doesn't believe there's a hell. Her mother looks at her and says, don't worry, honey. Marry, marry him anyway. Between the two of us, we'll show him how wrong he is. <laughs> true fact, true fact. Well, that's our joke for today. That's out of the way. <laughs> and now let me show you guys what we're going to be using today. Got in no particular order here. Our pre-shave brush and a little bowl for our pre-shave. And just well, since we said that, our pre-shave will be Parasso Red, and this is the one with the uh, mint and the uh, menthol, and makes your face feel good. Okay, that's that. Then we have the Parasso Red, ah, and that's a soft soap. Excellent. One, one of my favorites. I got a lot of favorites. There it is right there. We're going to be using that. Put that out of the way. And then our aftershave will be Parasso again. There we go. This is our Parasso. All this stuff will be in the description down below. Right below that guy right there. So you can press that button and subscribe anytime you want. And then we got our Nivea here. Brand new bottle. He's big and strong. We're going to try that one out. Now we get down to the tools. Today we're having a good time with the Rockwell 2C razor. This is a three piece razor. But I know I've showed you guys before, but a lot of guys are just tuning in. It has a plate that you flip over for different uh, aggressiveness. Number one is the less aggressive one. You flip it over and it goes over to three. That's a little more aggressive. It's all you got is just one plate. But now there's other Rockwells like this. One's called the Rockwell 6S. Then there's a 6, I don't know what it is, 6C, uh, I guess. And one's made out of chrome, one's made out of stainless steel. And that has two extra plates with more aggressive numbers. Like it goes from one to six. This only goes from one to three. Gives you a little bit of play. I don't need a very aggressive razor. Uh, as you can see, I don't have much. But I did trim my goat tail. That looked pretty nice. And my mustache. I look beautiful now. Okay, now let's show you. We're going to be using... Today, the third time we're going to be using this one will be the Wilkinson Sword Blade from India. That one goes, you just take this and you put it, if I can see, you put it on top. Then you take the bottom plate and you want the number that you're going to be shaving with on the, so you could see it like this. See, that says three. Now you got that, that means you're on the three blade aggressiveness, three scale, I guess you call it. And there it is. It's a very, very, <clears throat> it could remind me a lot of the Merker 34. See, the weight and the size, it's almost identical looking, same weight almost, but it's a beautiful, and I really like it. I really like Gary up there in Canada at Hopper Rocks got himself the stainless steel one in the 6S and he loves it. You know, 
But you know, those are Canadian people. You don't know what they like, what they don't like. You don't know what these people do. <laughs> they talk French, they talk English. I have no idea. Anyway, just play with you, Gary. Here we go. That's the that's the razor you're looking for. You gotta make sure it's from India. Okay, I'm gonna put that out of the way. <coughs> and from England, we have the Trafalk. <laughs> This is made by Simpsons. Simpson makes this blade, this razor, this brush. <laughs> they make a lot of stuff. This is the <laughs> this is the brush. They call it Travalka Three. This is the big fat one. I just and they cut it down for people like me, and you just call it the T Three. I like that. That's a good. Here we go. T Three, and it's a synthetic, and it's a big knot. It's like I don't know. I have no idea. It's a big knot. I can't remember. It's a big knot. They should put it on the bottom, but they don't. I might, I'll make mark it on the bottom deck. When I find out, I'll mark it on the bottom. Next time I use it, I'll tell you guys. But it's a, it's a big knot. It's bigger than 26. I can't remember. Okay, I know it's big, but I don't want to tell you the wrong number. But it's a nice, look how big it is. Look. That's nice. Okay, that's done. We got that. We got our blade in here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over the camera and we're going to put our bowl on this little table and we're going to take a picture for you guys how we make our ladder. Be right back. Okay guys, we're back. There is our soap in our little black bowl. I heated up the bowl a little bit in some hot water. I'm going to take my brush out. I had that in hot water too. Strummed it out just a little bit. Just straight out of the cup. Hot water. And get our lather going. Well, it looks like I uh, lost one of my little squares there. It's coming around inside the, the bowl. I guess I kept it too much in the hot water. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Oh, there it is. I found it. Well, let's see how many else come out. Let's see. Here's another one. Uh, they're hatching one at a time. Pretty soon we'll have a checkerboard. <laughs> That'd be good. Anybody want a checkerboard? Here we go. Okay, my glue is not good. I'm going to have to go... Somewhere else besides the dollar store to get my glue. Oh, I think I lost another one. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, we're getting a little bit too much delay here in our soap making. Hold it. Get it all over the place. Okay. I think that's pretty good right there. Could put a little more water in it. Looks like the Parasso is a little thirsty, more than the other tailors and the the other one from me. We'll take the Fitton Hill, something like that. Well, I got I got two of these out, and there's one more still floating around in here, and I can't find it. Okay, whatever. I think we got enough lather there. To do a lot of damage. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna flip us back around. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We're back. We're gonna go ahead and put on our our pre-shave. I got it right here. Warm water, just a little bit of warm water, damp the brush just a little bit. Makes it a little easier to spread. Well, let's talk about the weather. Weather up here in Northern California, near San Francisco. We're 30 miles east of it. Rain yesterday, off and on, off and on. Now it seems to stop. But uh, nothing really heavy. But we'll see what happens. But, you know, weather is crazy. Some people got beautiful weather. Some people got some real bad weather. Okay, we're done there. 
that is our pre shave. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to drop my brush into my water and make it really wet. <laughs> okay, see, Parasso needs a lot of water, so you have to drop it in your bucket of water to make it work. Not really. Don't do that. That's a bad thing. Okay, I have to. <laughs> I could edit this. You guys never see it, but I don't like to do that. Okay. Oh, wow, that worked. Okay. Feels good. It's a little wet because I just dropped my brush in the water again. <laughs> but this is a, a method that they use down in uh, Australia, I think. <laughs> the Aborigines invented this uh, back when they were looking for water. They would take their brush and throw it up in the air, and where sometimes it lands and it finds water. There you go, they got water. And this is a trick that we learned in Australia. Ain't that right, Uncle L? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, we got one coat on. Let me get my little towel here. I gotta wipe my little hands. And I gotta put a little alum on my fingers. Because we're going to be using the Rockwell 2C today. Another one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. Now we're going to warm up our razor. And you guys enjoy the music. I hope you guys like ragtime. <laughs> Here we go. Boy, that is smooth. You know, I was enjoying my uh, music. I, I, got, I, I got this thing from Amazon. They try it for free. For three months, it's Amazon uh, music, I think they call it. And you can pick out any kind of music you like, and it'll play anything. I got Al Jolson, Dean Martin, Jerry Vale, Frank Sinatra. That's my singing. That's what my father used to get up in the morning, light a cigarette. We knew when he was up because the whole house smelled like a cigarette. And he put his stereo on every Sunday morning and he listened to all those guys I just said. And it was just, at that time, you know, we just didn't think much about it. But now it brings back so many memories and now I see the, how I grew into liking that music and I love it. And my generation liked that music, you know, us mature people. <laughs> ah, that's another word for old boys. Okay. I think I did a good job on the trail on the on the beard. Okay. Going for round two now. Oh, speaking about Jerry Vale, I just put Jerry Vale music on on that Amazon. So you got to try it. Maybe they still got the three months for free. Uh, of course, I'm going to cancel it before the three months because it's 10 bucks a month. Uh, anyway, uh, try it because it's fun. Al Jolson, anything you want. I mean, modern music, the stuff that they sing today, the rap. I hate rap and uh, all that stuff, but give it a try, it's wonderful. I mean, you get the music you like, and they sing all your favorite. Oh, how about Gloria Esteban? I put on her Spanish album. You can't stop, you gotta keep doing this. But, anyways, never mind, let's not do that. Let's be mature here. Oh, by the way, I have no microphone on my neck. Stephen told me. He was the only one that told me. Of course, no one else did. Thank you, Stephen. And he said, you're making too much noise with the microphone. Well, I found that out after I put the video on. Anyway, what I've done was, I took the mic that I had up here. I'm sorry for talking so long. I took the mic that I had up here, took it off the lanyard, and I hanged it from the ceiling, and it's just above my head, right about here. I hope it sounds good. We'll find out. 
and I wrap it in a, a black foam I had to kind of hopefully I don't hear that heavy breathing like I do all the time because you know I get the problem with the lungs but anyway there we go so what am I doing now I'm doing a cross this way that's right don't you forget it okay here we go Oh, I was talking about that Amazon radio or music. Try that out. See if they got that. I'm sure they still got it for free music. And you love it. This razor is the third time I'm using it. Not the razor. The blade is the third time I'm using it. And it's still sharp as a Sharp as a razor. That's a good word. Okay. I got a little dick there. What the hell is that about? Okay. Oh, dropped the whole razor in the water. That's not nice. Okay, a little more soap here, guys. Here we go. Just the cheeks, please. We're going up this time. I got a little neck. Why you like that? I didn't think this uh, Rocco was going to nick me, but I guess anything is possible out there. I got to put a little alum on my fingers because I got a little soap on my hand. Okay. Now we're going upstairs, boys. Okay, that's the south side. Now let's do the north face. Okay. That's it. By golly, we did it. We did it. Okay. I've got to clean my face and I'll be right back. Okay, gentlemen, we are back. And we are going to wipe our face down. Just put the alum on. Rinse it off in cold water like we always do. Feels great. After this, I gotta go take the wife and go shopping. Thank God it stopped raining. Hope you guys liked the joke. It was kind of cute. I thought it was kind of cute. Okay, guys. I'm gonna get our aftershave, the Parasso. Little burn today, not much, just a little tingle. But we have a a cure for that. That's this Nivea. That makes everything good. Let me close it up. Got a little bit more than normal. Feels good though. It's on my mustache. Well, there we go. It's a done deal. We're all done. I want to thank you, Stephen, for uh, doing that thing, telling me about the microphone. I kind of figured it out. We'll hang this out and see how it works. If this doesn't work, it doesn't sound good, I'll get another mic. Thanks for the offer, though. Anyway, uh, let me get my glasses on. All I can say is thank you guys. We're 410 subscribers. God bless each and every one of you guys. Uh, we are asking you to subscribe. 
press the little button on that guy right there and you're subscribed and ring the bell and give us a thumbs up it helps oh i want to tell you guys i always keep forgetting to tell you i am affiliated with amazon and they give me a little bit of piece of the action whenever you guys buy something so if you guys don't want to contribute to my shaving fund buy stuff from the amazon a little bit goes to me i would appreciate that if you want to buy a car that'd be wonderful i'll get commission on that too <laughs> okay boats okay boats are good anyway <laughs> you guys take care I uh, do appreciate all my subscribers. I uh, hope you guys are having fun. I hope you guys like the format. Uh, I might be doing some short uh, quotes on my quote channel. Uh, that'll be not in the bathroom, but that'll be downstairs in my uh, TV room. And you'll see me if you see me, okay? You guys take care. God bless each and every one of you guys. God bless America. And Alex, I'm out.